Now to the coronavirus pandemic. There is growing concern that reports of false negatives is having an impact on testing results in Miami-Dade County. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live in Miami with the details on that. Brooke. Hey, Francis, the issue comes with those antigen tests, also known as a rapid test. There are pros to it. You can get your results in about 15 minutes for some people. But one doctor told us there are some issues with false negatives. What everyone's been doing in the last couple of weeks is working. Things are getting better. Things are getting better in Miami-Dade County. It's still a hot spot for coronavirus cases, though, which means testing is up. Last week, antigen or rapid testing started at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens for certain ages or people with symptoms. But when it comes to that antigen test, infectious disease specialist Dr. Eileen Marty says antigen testing has a high risk of having a false negative. There are pros to the antigen test, like less lab work and results in minutes. But Dr. Marty said the tests are not as sensitive, which is why some people could be wrongly thinking they're negative for the coronavirus. When we look for protein, there's no way that we can make many copies of the protein in order to detect it. It's whatever's there. And so the sensitivity, the ability to detect at lower levels is not there when you do an antigen test. Dr. Marty said Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez is well aware of this false negative issue. What he wants to do, I completely support, which is that when we send someone for an antigen test, we at the same time take a sample to be able to do the molecular test. It's still, she says a big number they're keeping an eye on is the rate of hospitalizations seen in this chart trending downward in Miami-Dade County as of Tuesday. And that was Brooke Schaefer reporting.